Hi YouTube, so it's been yeah a little bit long since I put up a video uh, but as you can see we're on a campsite back at Adam Camping where my son lives and we've been here since Wednesday so five nights and it's been torture no but learning about heat because uh, it's been about 37 38 degrees as you can see all oh, the grass is dead and tipping a little tip I mean everyone, know, everyone knows about these guys on the front screens uh, unfortunately I left my winter ones at home uh, which are insulated with about 5 mil of plastic padding stuff uh, that really keep out the heat I bought this one quick but the big problem was the side window so I bought these from Obi it's got self sticking magnets on to the side window is it enough? No, it needs insulation as well. And one on the pop out window. That's technically the other half of that. So, uh, yeah, probably you'd want one of these on the whole side of your van if the sun's coming on this side. So, I'm going to take you around the back and just see. I've done me door panels uh, yeah I was quite happy that the complete lock failed but I've sorted that so I've got that on now mm, tidy yeah and that's the other side and my son Ben because we're on Adam Camping it's got this fishing lake we pulled out all the fishing gear um, which technically all goes into there and what I've done is still not haven't got a battery I've run this cable here through the van so I can plug it into the cigarette lighter in the cab so when we're driving it cools the van, uh, cools the the fridge, which has kept up being in the back, surprisingly. Uh, I go shopping every day, I mean I'm not, apart from milk and, and that, yeah, I mean you've got to be careful, haven't you? So that's the door panels in, in the back. And the next good thing about another little project from before was this water canister that I had on my camping trailer and technically all I've done is drilled a hole in the lid there, got an old bike in a tube, cut out the valve, pushed it in there uh, so what I do is I pump it up, I mean there's billions of videos about this guy on the internet, they're all painted black, uh, but I left that bottle in the sun for about six hours and Ben said oh tip it over me and yeah nearly you scolded me kid so my tip is don't paint it black or have a black one because if it's 37 degrees it's going to be heating up to about 60 80 in there uh, but it works pump it up with a bike pump turn this and you've got a really nice cool shower when you're sweating your knackers off so 
obviously on the campsite you can't really have a proper shower with it but uh, it's pretty cool to we use swimming trunks get cooled down so change in the van well the only big change is uh, I've got the dividing wall in on the kitchen part and yeah Fan works brilliant. I mean, I think it's pretty cool now. I, mean, I think we had it up to 37 degrees inside the van. Uh, but when you've got all the windows open, the thing about it is it's not like stone. Metal cools down really quick. And there you can see that silver thing on the outside. But that works. I mean, does keep the heat coming in from that side. So, oh, I'm going to climb in the van and just show you another little thing. Don't know where they come from. I bought it from Ovi. Uh, it's this little guy. Uh, no idea, but it's got it's USB, so you can put it in your cigarette lighter. And got three speeds and I think that saved our bacon because uh, you can point it out the door and it will blow the air out or just move the air a little bit so it feels a bit cooler and on uh, I did a test on it actually on that Certainly, it will run, I think, for about six hours and it creates a nice breeze. Cost $12.99 from Obi, must be around there somewhere. Uh, so, yeah, fan works brilliant. Insulation, would you want to do anything more about it all? Well, I pity these guys in the tent, really, but uh, anyway, that's it, I mean, outdoor shower works, will I do any more, well, probably not, uh, I did test this when the weather wasn't so hot and I just put in, boiled up some water took it in there and had a outdoor shower in it when I was wild camping I suppose the best thing is to not use some shower gel from a Lidl that's probably not that environmentally friendly but uh, to cool down it works really good anyway I'm glad I got this video up because uh, like I said, it's been a couple of weeks and uh, I've got three weeks holiday and uh, I think in that time I'll be concentrating on my yeah, electric builds, solar, batteries um, because I don't think without some battery power to keep your milk for your coffee cool van life or just die I mean not possible okay pretty funny video but uh, till next time bye